Guys, I hope y'all ready for this because this is the episode I've been looking forward to the most. I'm talking about the coral. That's a fish. The coral. We're gonna find out exactly what Rusty means when he calls himself a stickhead. Man, Rusty, please tell us how you took that plunge from the softy reef to the more challenging and experience needed SPS. As I spoke about in one of the earlier videos, watching a coral get fragmented was that the spark that sent me into this hobby. For those of you that don't know, when you frag an SPS or hard coral, it becomes its own dominant colony and grows completely from a quarter inch into the mother colonies you can see behind you. When I first noticed that, I had to go into a full SPS reef. And that's how you started collecting some of these big colonies you see behind you. Some of these you wouldn't believe started as just the tiniest little fragments, a quarter inch even, and now we're larger than my entire head. And that's the beauty that got me into SPS. Sure, it's a little bit harder and it takes a little bit more experience. But to me, there's nothing more beautiful than a fully dominant SPS reef. Man, there's a lot of science in your answers, bro. Now, let's get into something that even I'll understand. Rusty, do you mind going over the name of some of the colonies you have in this tank? So even when planning this reef, we completely intended to do nothing but SPS. However, one of my few pet peeves with tanks is that some people go a little overboard. So I do always keep mixed reef. So from the bottom, you'll see things like really interesting orange and purple fungias and some of your soft corals like Duncan. Towards the middle of my tank you'll even catch a candy cane or a blastomusa. But what you'll mainly find is acropora, and incredibly the milliporas and the tenuous and staghorn corals. They're my favorite. They grow in large branching formations and I can put them from the middle of my tank all the way to the top. And it's why, even though I love mixed reef, I'll always be a stickhead. Dude, you got so many colonies in here, it's a pora out of my head. Now man, do you mind actually taking a little bit more time out of your day and going over what your favorite colony in this tank is and possibly why? Every day is different for me, but today I can't help but point out my purple slimer. By far it's the most colorful coral in my tank. One of the reasons it's my favorite is the size I got it at. Could not have been over three quarters of an inch with two tiny little heads on it. And now it's more than 12 inches across with about 18 different branches. One of the big things about the purple slimers that's so amazing is when you get that color really popping on them, they have this 3D effect. And it's the blue and purple as it rides in together. All the other slimers are still one of my favorite, but my purple is hands down the best of my tank. Man, you're gonna turn me into a stickhead. Leave a comment below if he's gonna do the same to you. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. On top of that, make sure to check out the fish tank hooligans and don't forget to do amazing things like frag a colony and start a whole new colony. It's like amazing. Till next time guys, take like the boss.